welcome to this week's vlog. This week I'm at a place called Lathkill Dale, which is in North Derbyshire in the Peak District. Uh, and I'm here mainly for a waterfall, but I thought while I was out and about, I might as well pack myself up like a pack horse, bring my uh, big, ooh, big lens and uh, see if I could get some wildlife shots while I'm here. And uh, I've only been walking for 10 minutes. I've already come across uh, some long tailed tits, a robin, I think of a little vole, I missed the vole, it was in and out really quickly, and another bird, which I don't even know what it was. So <laughs> I've got a couple of shots, I think, already. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna keep this on, keep this big lens on while I walk up to the waterfall, see if I can spy any other birds, kind of looking for some dippers or uh, maybe a heron if I'm lucky or something like that. And then uh, get to the waterfall, switch lenses, and then walk back and do some landscape. So I thought that might not be a bad idea for today. So that is what I'm gonna do. weather's interesting it's a it's a mix of sunshine and snow for early April so yeah it was a bit it was forecast to be sunny and well cloudy with sunny spells today so I was a bit perturbed as I was driving over the over the dales or whatever you like to call it when uh, I encountered a couple of reasonably heavy snowstorms I was like oh great especially as it's a bit ropey the old drive back's quite hilly so but hopefully oh these are cool mine shaft if you can see that behind me there so I know this area as a former lead mine uh, which uh, which got disused I think or hasn't been used since the 19th century something like that but there's all remnants of the mining industry here. You've got the shafts and the overflows. And uh, further down, I think you've got an old building, which apparently is called Bates, Bateman's Building or something. And uh, there's a piece of technology that, they, uh, that the, the company who owned the mine didn't want anybody else to know about. So they built a building over the top of it, allegedly. Uh, some sort of pump, I think, or something. And that's further down here as well. So. But at the moment, I'm on the lookout for wildlife more than anything landscapey. Although I've seen a couple of competitions already for the way back, so that's quite good. This was the point where the weather conditions started to get a little bit surreal. Going from bright, sunny, reasonably warm conditions to squally snow showers and freezing temperatures within a matter of seconds. All making for a rather interesting second half of this trip.
sooner had the snow arrived, then it was gone again, leaving us with those beautiful, bright, sunny conditions. But don't worry, the snow was never too far away. So I'm within sight now of the waterfall, which is just up over that way. And there's this sort of weir here that's actually, actually might be quite photogenic, actually. Um, but I thought I'd sit here and just see if uh, any birds came along, any dippers or anything really. Just I thought maybe with this moving water, quite a few rocks for them to sit on, they might come along. But uh, regardless of whether they come or not, it's just a nice place to stop and have a water because, you know, it's a bit of a trek. It's quite flat though, which is quite nice, but uh, yeah, I've been walking for a good hour now. So yeah, I sort of sit down and have a little break and see if anything comes along. If it doesn't, then what I'm actually waiting for as well, for the conditions to become a bit more cloudy so I can uh, get over to the waterfall and take it into a flat light. But you never know, we may get another bloody snowstorm. Mad, absolutely mad. It's been mad today. Anyway, yeah, let's see. Let's wait and see what happens. I'm not holding up much hope here, to be honest with you. I think what I might do is just head straight up to the waterfall and see if there's any wildlife around there before I get set up for the uh, landscape shots. What is going on? So I'm at the, <laughs> I'm at the waterfall and uh, actually the dipper, believe it or not, is doing laps around here. Um, so I've changed my camera lens now though because I thought, ah, uh, got a couple of shots of it for, it went off that way, I thought it won't be coming back for a while because I'm here. And it's doing laps, I think it's got a nest down there, but what is going on with the snow? It's absolutely mad. So I have to wait for a bit now, because the other one's just going to snow all over my lens. And hopefully it won't settle and I'll be able to get home. And hopefully it'll clear up in a bit. And we might be able to get some shots taken, but this is just mad. It's absolutely mental. What's going on? So the snow has finally stopped, which has now allowed me to get a shot. It's still overcast, which is good, which is what I want. But that snow was just really difficult to shoot in. So basically what I've done here is uh, I've got the, the waterfall in the top third. I've got this rock uh, as a bit of foreground at the bottom. And I'm only shooting a very small amount above the waterfall because it's not very interesting. All the interest really is the waterfall and these rocks and the water and the, and the pebbles in the water at the bottom. So that's what I'm shooting, basically. I'm shooting it at f14, one sixth of a second. And that's allowing me not to blow anything, but it's giving nice enough movement in the water. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll probably move a bit further around for another shot that kind of gets maybe all of it in and use the side of the waterfall as a bit of foreground interest. I don't want to get too close though, because the dipper's definitely got a nest over there. Uh, they've been coming back and forward. As soon as I finish this, I'm getting that long lens back on because I reckon I can get some fantastic shots of them once uh, once I finish doing this. But yeah, I like this waterfall. It's quite cool. Bit of a trek to get to, but uh, yeah, nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
the sun's back out now and not really going to work with the waterfall, too many highlights. But I've got the shots I wanted, I think, from here, so I'm really happy. I'm going to now put the uh, long lens back on again and wait for those dippers to come back, try and get some really nice shots of them, and then back to the landscape lens, have a wander back down towards the car and see what else I can pick up along the way. is well some snow one very tired vlogger and Bateman's house which is what I was talking to you about earlier uh, this is the the uh, well what's left of it really there's a mine shaft over there that you can actually walk down but I fear if I walk down it my legs are not going to carry me back up it so I'm not going to do that what I am going to do is have a little look around and see if there's a shot I can get. Now, I'm a bit pushed for time, unfortunately, because while I was up there spending hours and hours trying to get shots of a dipper, I realised that I'd only paid for four hours parking, which means I've got about three quarters of an hour to get back to the car, and that includes a hill. <laughs> and that could take a large portion of it, I tell you. Anyway, I'm going to take a look around here now and see if there's anything worth taking a shot of. Don't tell anyone, I'm shooting a panoramic. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, this, uh, this shot's doing absolutely nothing for me whatsoever, but you know, while I'm here, I might as well. I've got this stonking great tree in the way here, which is just ruining that part of the elevation. I can't get any closer because the lens isn't wide enough. Uh, and yeah, uh, and it's snowing like you wouldn't believe again. So uh, yeah, not it's not working out for me this one, but um, I don't know, I might be able to pull something out of it, we'll see. said about the uh, the walk back up the hill the better there wow I am absolutely exhausted what a mad day what a mad mad day that was absolutely crazy oh man snow sun waterfalls dippers other birds more snow more sun Hills, 